Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here is a video on the Linksys Wi-Fi Range Extender AC1200 unboxing, setup, and review. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by me grabbing my favorite pocket knife and opening up the box. Normally I would do a 360 degree look at the box and tell you what was on it and explain the text and diagrams, but this box is just way too busy. So I elected to go ahead and just open it up. And the first thing out of the box is the Linksys Quick Start Guide, and that's for setup and install, and we'll get back to that. And we have some consumer Wi-Fi information that's included and then we have the main attraction which is the Wi-Fi range extender itself so let's uh, quickly unwrap this and then we'll toss the wrap over to the side here and take a closer look so that we can see it a little bit better let me go ahead and pick it up and bring it up closer to the camera here the Linksys RE6700 and up top here we have a AC plug um, you can use this to plug in a, um, a set of speakers or a lamp or whatever um, that way you don't lose one of your plugs on your wall outlet and uh, let's see what else do we have going on here um, we have uh, the LED light down here and then we also have on the bottom on the left side we have an audio jack for music streaming and we have an ethernet port here um, a gigabyte port and on the top we have vents and we have vents on the sides as well on the back we have the MAC address serial number and of course the plug and on the right side we have a reset button here and we have also a WPS button as well and um, let's see did I forget anything oh one other thing is that these antennas are movable and um, you can do that so you can get a better signal from your router okay let's go ahead and move on with the installation and setup the first thing we want to go ahead and do is plug this into an AC wall outlet and when you first do that you'll notice that the LED light is not lit for a few seconds and then it'll start blinking the color amper and that will continue until you complete the setup on your computer and make a Wi-Fi connection to your router and we can go ahead and do that by opening up a internet browser of your choosing within Windows. I've opened up Microsoft Edge within Windows 10. Once it's open, go down and click on the Wi-Fi icon in the taskbar. And as you can see, I am presently connected to the PP router as my Wi-Fi connection, but also that um, the Linksys Extender Setup-585 shows up in the list as well. And we want to go ahead and click on this and click on Connect. Two things to keep in mind is that the 585 is the last three digits of the MAC address of this device. Yours will be different. And you will not be prompted for a password because it's an open network. Once the connection is made, you are brought to the Welcome to the RE6700 Setup page. If it does not automatically do that for you, on the URL line of the internet browser that you have open, type in this URL address, http colon forward slash forward slash extender dot com, and that will also take you to the Welcome to RE6700 setup page. Once here, you are given an opportunity to change your language, and if you click on the down arrow here, you can choose a language of your choosing. Once you have, click on the Start button here, and that moves you forward to the License Agreement page. And I suggest reading through this, and once you have completed reading it, um, you can go ahead and leave the auto update check because you do want updates from time to time and go ahead and click on I agree then it takes you to the choose your wireless network page 
And uh, in this case, um, it shows two for me because I have a dual band network running and this is a dual band um, Wi-Fi extender, PP router and PP router 5, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Once I click on it, it takes me here to um, enter your password for the PP router and I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Then click on next and that takes me to this page, your extended wireless network. And I can change uh, a few things here. Um, if I don't want the default network names, um, I can go ahead and change them to something different. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to change the 2.4 gigahertz network to River 2 and uh, leave the security the same as it is and the password I've already um, typed that in and that's the default password for my Wi-Fi router um, as is and also on the 5 gigahertz extended network I'm gonna call it uh, River 5 and uh, also leave the security the same and the password um, the same that I typed in earlier and click on next and takes me to the next page make it secure where I can put in a admin password and a hint of that password to secure this Linksys extender so that nobody else can get in here and mess around with the settings now one thing to keep in mind I tried this and you have to um, if, even if you leave it blank, it tells me you can't leave it blank. So you have to go ahead and put in an, uh, a password to make the uh, Linksys secure. And in this case, i just making one up here, um, calling it River Ground um, 1, for instance. Um, that'll be good enough. And I'll copy and paste that down here, make it a little easier. And you can do the same. And as a hint, oh, I don't know, I, I'm never very good at these, so I'm just going to type in the word um, ground, that or river rather, maybe our ground, um, that'll work. And then click on save. All right, now it tells me my um, extender is set up. And uh, if I choose to, I can manage my extender or just um, go ahead and leave everything the way it is. I should be able to um, make a connection um, to the Linksys extender at this point. And uh, let's go ahead and give that a try. And if I try to close that out, it just prompts me to log in with an admin password to the extender. We'll go down to the taskbar here and I'll click on the Wi-Fi icon and uh, see if we can make a connection to River 2, the 2.4 gigahertz. And uh, I'll uncheck that and make, uh, let me go ahead and click on this connect and it prompts me for a password and I'll go ahead and type that in the one that I set up on my network and uh, we'll see if that makes a connection and it should there we go we are now connected and uh, we are connected in a secure fashion to um, River 2 which is the 2.4 gigahertz uh, network all right, and uh, you can see I went to the home page, and which is Google, um, as uh, my home page, and that came right up. So we are connected to the network now. Before I bring this video to an end, I just want to mention a few things. Um, first one would be here's the legend for the um, LED light on the Linksys RE6700. Uh, a solid green is ready to use. A solid amper is a weak signal. A blinking amper is no connection at all to your router. And then uh, no light is just no power at all. The second item that I want to mention is if we take a close up look on the bottom of the Linksys RE6700, 
I mentioned earlier that there is a audio jack on the left hand side here and what this is used for is streaming audio on your Wi-Fi network and uh, you can plug in a set of amplified speakers into this audio jack and listen to any audio music or whatever that you would be streaming and um, also I just want to mention the um, size of this Linksys and it's it's bigger than I thought it would be and it's a little heavy um, a little bit on the heavy side but other than that um, it seems to function well there's a good signal I get uh, four or five bars and uh, the Wi-Fi connection seems solid and consistent Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. Subscribe and leave a like if you like.